Now, despite a court order restricting the end bad governance protest in Lagos to specific venues, demonstrators still held street procession throughout the city on August 1, 2024. Residents in large numbers converged at Ikeja to register their displeasure with the administration of President Tinubu as a result of the current economic hardship faced across the country. Our correspondent, Sidney Okafo, completes the story. At exactly 8 a.m., hundreds of residents, mostly youths, gathered at the Kedja to kick off the first day of the much anticipated hashtag and bad governance hunger protests slated to hold for 10 days. Despite numerous calls by Nigerian government and other stakeholders for the protest to halt, protesters turned out in large numbers with branded placards to express their displeasure with the recent economic hardships. There was also a heavy presence of security operatives to maintain law and order. Speaking to journalists, the protesters say, contrary to previous insinuations, they are not faceless. They appeal to the Nigerian government to end the suffering of citizens by reversing what they called anti-people policies. The cause of this protest is the fact that our leaders have let us down. The cause of this protest is that Nigerians are hungry and they are angry. We are hungry and we are angry. Our common resources have been wasted by those who put in authority. And so, Nigerians have taken the faith in their own hands. And we're saying enough is enough. They say we are faceless, but we're not faceless. These are our faces. We, are, we, we were with them, we were with them in the past. We were with them. Ashwaju was a lead protester. Ashwaju was number one protester in this country. Maybe you don't know. When he said Emiloko, Emiloko is a language of protest. It's a language of give it to me. It's my turn. It's a language of protest. So the number one protester should not be against protesters. It's high like time we all come together and say and save this country. We we put some people there. We voted for them for for, for better living. Have we seen that better living? That we are suffering. It's not. It's not. It's not that we are exaggerating. You can go to market and see what I'm talking about. Are you getting me? Okay, they have approved seventy thousand minimum wage. When that minimum wage was about eighteen thousand in two thousand and fifteen, a, a bag of rice was about six thousand five hundred naira. Then you are paying seventy thousand now. Then that bag of rice is about eight five thousand. What are we What are we talking about? You see, things are very hard. People are really suffering. If you are living by your means, you will not survive in this country. People are cutting corners. Only anybody you see that is enjoying in this country is cutting corners. The Nigerians are out. They are here to protest against hunger, against bad governance. And with what we have here is encouraging. And you can see that they are highly very peaceful. Peaceful. Everybody is protesting peacefully. And from the feedback we're getting from other places, it's also very peaceful. And this is a testament to the fact that Protests in Nigeria has always been very peaceful if the government do not bring in their talks. So it has always been very peaceful. You can see what you have here. These are responsible people that want a better nation. The protesters defy others by the Lagos High Court restricting them to specific venues and march through Ikeja to Ojota, singing solidarity songs and drawing the attention of the government to citizens' struggles. We, if we don't want to be hypocritical, if we don't want to be uh, cowards, we know what is going on in this country. We know we have never had insecurity this bad in this country. We have never had hardship this bad in this country. We have never had politicians rob, uh, 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 speak to Nigeria in, in, in a condescending manner, maltreat Nigeria, talk to us as if we were naughty. We have a vice president calling a, a, a Nigerians idiots. We have a vice president, um, a, 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 a senate president that is supposed to look at and take care of and be our representative in the legislation telling nigerians that the um, let the people that want to go and protest go and protest him that is enjoying the asiwaji regime will be at home and eat that's ridiculous that man is supposed to is supposed to be the one taking and be they're supposed to be the eye of nigerians in the legislation but rather you have these guys talking as if we mean nothing to them, they share money, buy themselves SUV, sharing 400, 400 million because they are going for recess. It's, it's ridiculous. What is happening in the country is very disheartening. And uh, this is not what uh, the government promised during the election. And we can see uh, how the whole thing is going and where it's going to, you know, where it's heading to. It's just so, it's just so bad, it's just so bad. 
look at the cost of food now. Tell me, how can you afford a three square meal? It is not possible. And you know, an hungry man is an angry man. So for how long are we going to stay caged and uh, endure this hardship? Reacting to various appeal made by the government to have the protests shared, experts acknowledge the right of citizens to express their grievances. Earlier, the Lagos State Commissioner of Police, Adegoke Fayuade, had vowed to resist violence of hijackers. I'm giving you 100% assurance that we are here to protect you. We are here to protect you from hoodlum attempting to snatch this protest. You have the right to protest, but we don't allow hoodlum to infiltrate and turn the protest to violence. So you can be rest assured 100%. Nobody will be molested. Nobody will be attacked. We will provide adequate, qualitative security for you. And that's why we are all here. Meanwhile, the legal state government, Babajide Songwulu, has said the state will not allow a repeat of events of the 2020 NSAS protest. Songwulu has urged organizers of the hashtag and bad governance protest to exercise patience and allow President Bola Tunubu's economic recovery policies to yield results. Sydney Okafor, TV360, Lagos.